Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Iron Death playthrough. And in this episode, well actually in the last episode we managed to complete pretty much most of what we wanted to build in here. There are a couple more modifications that I'd like to do in here and uh, but I think uh, we should uh, start the episode with with a couple of interesting comments that I saw from the previous episode. So few things to clarify. This is by far the not the most efficient layout here. The reason why we're building this is, well, I guess it's just because we can. Um, when it comes to the efficiency, yes, it's going to fluctuate. But looks like most of those wheels are working most of the time. And, well, here we go. <laughs> Seems the beavers have f uh, finished building one of the platforms. And this is the reason why I was wanting to, uh, wanting to lower the level of the land here as well. So essentially, I wanted to make sure that this, this is all flush. And then in the middle, if I'll bring the levels down just a little bit. Let's hold down Alt and scroll down just a tiny bit so in these in the middle bits here i left the little little caps and dynamited them well one level lower and the idea is that we are gonna place down if we scroll up again we should be able to place here at least one two three and four of those platforms so yeah it is gonna be crazy expensive but then again we've got so much uh, scrap metal right now and We've got three of those running as well, producing us even more metal. So that should be all all good. I also... I guess we should put some more water dumps in here as well. Because the water level is a little bit lower than we want it to be. But... Yeah, that's probably the next improvement we'll do. And... and um, I guess another thing I forgot to mention was I've, I've run a, quite a few... I guess probably like a at least a cycle um, to gather all the all the metal and other things. But I've also been observing how uh, how consistent the water wheels here uh, are, and to my surprise, they're actually pretty good as long as we can get enough water coming down. And um, I also noticed that this um, small pond here or reservoir is not actually needed. So what we might do is uh, we might slap another two tanks up here and um, to act as a bit of a buffer. But right now the water level is actually low in our tanks because I, I have been doing some um, some changes around the place. So how about, let's see, we start from here. There was a great suggestion in the comments. I'm very sorry I did not look up who it was, but... There was a comment about lowering this canal here by at least one level. And initially I was thinking, hmm, but then that's gonna um, lower the range of, of the fertile land. But to be honest, it's it's better, better to have it one level lower. Because right now when the water evaporates, then we have no water here at all. Versus... A slightly reduced range so yeah that that is a excellent comment so i have been if i hide the water real quick i have been putting some dynamites in here and let us take a look yeah the drought season will end in a few days time so i think we should be able to fill this all up and let's try and do as many as we can. I think we'll also have to get rid of a few trees in here. Have we marked them as well? Yes, we have. So that is great. We can uh, start putting some more dynamites all around. Uh, maybe up to here. Oh, there's another tree hiding just in that corner. So let's do the same over there as well. Okay, great. So let's hide the water once again. Now... Uh, what else did we do? I think we we slapped down quite a few of those campfires. And these are not, again, permanent solutions. It was just to get their um, well-being up a little bit. So if we look at campfires right now, it's less than half of our beavers are able to use the campfire. So, so yeah, just uh, put down an extra few until we can figure out a better, better area. And uh, in this section here... 
what I also did is um, before it was two levels higher, so we've dynamited two levels down just to hold a bit more extra water in this section. So that was pretty straightforward in here. Now moving over, yeah, quite a lot of dynamites are going down in this section here. And the idea of, of this or the reasoning for it is I noticed that during the wet seasons, we actually could store a bit more water in here. So, so yeah, we started laying down some dynamites and how about maybe we'll start from this corner. So let's detonate them. Alright, and now these are done, so that is great. What I also did, added a few more water pumps here. And if we can please zoom in, or... Hmm, yep, if we go below the map, and we'll bring back the water pumps. Uh, before the water pumps um, were up, I think, one or two levels. And I, I realized that, hey, why don't we um, just extend it all the way... So all we had to do is just dynamite one level level lower, so now they can reach all the all the six tiles. So that's great. I think uh, right now we're not gonna uh, demolish this whole area, but what we'll do is we'll bring it to the same level as as this one here. So we can we can probably do a few more dynamites here and same, I guess all over there as well. Just so we can we can hold a bit more water and the night time is almost over so that is good as well. We've also started building uh, some levy not levees platforms platforms up here. And I was thinking maybe maybe we'll put some decorations up here as well and make it look a little bit nicer. Now the same story in here. Could put some more water. Nice and. Um, Gonna need some more dynamites here, aren't we? I hope they can reach all the way to the furthest ones. Uh, yes, they should be. So that's all good. And soon that should be all all done as well. Right, next thing. Um, with those platforms up here, uh, uh, up here, I am thinking that I might take out those triple floodgates and build levees here not levees, uh, dams in here instead to top up the tank with with water eventually. Just so look, it looks a little bit nicer, more complete, because uh, it's a little bit awkward, and I'm sure you can agree it's 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 a little bit annoying. But um, other than that, it seems the water levels are holding up quite nicely. Oh no, I think I forgot this floodgate open, and yeah, all this waters. Oh well, it's okay. It's just another 2.7 days until the um, um, wet season starts again. But now that this platform is ready and we've got 230 metal stored up, I think uh, it's actually not a bad time to start uh, building the next one. Oh no, I have to be very careful around here. We don't want to delete the metal, uh, metal platform because that would be... That would be very sad. Uh, where is the next spot? I think it's it's over there. So let's take this out and all right, let's bring the levels up. There is gonna be a gap in there, but that's okay. We could just place yeah one of those uh, platforms to fill that gap so they can uh, traverse over. Right, if we can get the last platform in here, that would be fantastic. Okay, there we go. A little bit tidier now, at least. And um, what is interesting to see is it seems the water goes straight through those metal platforms. That's something I did not know before. And, well, that's mostly because I've never used those metal platforms, but uh, at least we know that now. I guess the next thing to figure out is what shall we build up here? And uh, There's a few options, and um, coming back to the comments I know yeah as I said before as well this isn't about efficiency too much rather than functionality in a way and the and the looks 
or the aesthetics, should I say. Um, but uh, there was a comment that we should instead have some engines. Um, now, engines are definitely something I'd like to incorporate. Just have to figure out where we're going to place them. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to rip this whole thing out and, and rebuild it. But we'll just uh, put additional engines elsewhere so that we can uh, get rid of those power wheels instead. Uh, also, I did notice the the update on the experimental branch for the for Timberborn. I'm pretty excited about some of those updates that are coming through, such as the uh, ability to automatically bring the water up a few levels. Uh, so it's going to be quite exciting to see with uh, with some of those uh, new resources and buildings and the game mechanics as well, how they're going to change. But I don't think I'm going to jump on the experimental just yet. That's partly because we've just finished building this water wheel setup here. And with the new uh, changes to the mechanics, that means this probably is not going to produce us as much power as we as we would like it to. So, um, uh, yeah, good timing, honestly. Yeah. Oh, well, but we built this and um, we're just going to wait until the experimental is, uh, is more mature and then we'll we'll jump in there. Right, so enough about this. Now, our next thing that I really liked in the comments was about this pond here, actually. There was a mention that we we should build a gazebo in the middle here. And that's, I think, a fantastic idea. So what I'll do is I'll slap down a quick design in here and then we'll let the beavers build this as well. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and the uh, gazebo or pagoda on this little pond here is nearly complete. What I've done is I've given, um, actually if you go top down, there is going to be access uh, from all four directions. We've got a couple of benches in the corners and some uh, shrubs here as well just for decorations. And I think we're, yeah, he's completing the last, the last um, roof bit in here. And now we can actually get rid of all the all the stairs as well that were just helping us to get a little bit higher and we can just put this road back in there like so fantastic i think in the middle bit here what i'd like to place down is the beaver statue but i think that would be nicer if it's a little bit higher maybe so it's um kind of stands out a bit more but essentially yeah, this is what it uh, what it looks like a little relaxation area for the beavers. And whilst we were, well, whilst I was recording this time lapse as well, the wet season had started, so we're already filling up our lake. And I think we should sh uh, start filling up the reservoir here as well very, very shortly. Right, moving over, let's take a look at this location here. Oh, uh, they did not reach the last ones. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Okay, so we'll still explode them ones. And can we do... Oh, we do need one more in here. We'll give you the highest priority. So we'll get these done as well. And I guess for the middle bit here, uh, we can do a temporary platform. That's that's no problem at all. All right, so let's, let's do that. Now, moving over... Oh, okay, the 
put in most of those dynamites, well actually all of them. So here we go, here's another set of dynamites. And a couple more, let's do those ones, these ones. Nice, okay. And I think that means we can probably get rid of this bit here, but not a huge priority just yet. Looking at those water wheels again, as you can see, they are all running, so that's, uh, that's actually amazing. Yeah, I'm glad I'm able to prove or showcase this a little bit as well, that it's not just, it's not too inconsistent. Yes, a little bit sometimes, as you can see just now, a couple of them have stopped working. But overall, throughout the whole day, I'd say they're running 75 to 90% of the time. Uh, right now, it seems our water levels are actually running quite low, so maybe we should take a look at that. Beaver numbers are still going up, so maybe we'll just have to pause another one of those pods. Guess we could do more in here. Oh, we've got more dynamites. Ah, he's just putting in the last one. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, we could do more bumps maybe directly attached to this one here. Although I'm also thinking of taking maybe this one out so we can have another road that goes straight through there. Yeah, that's probably an option as well. Right. But that should also mean... Should we lower this even further? Well, if we have a look at now, this lake is full. The water is not yet flowing through, but it's about to. Then it's gonna fill our smaller river there. Okay. And yeah, so we still have at least like a three or four more wet days or rainy days. Very interesting indeed. And all this is... Oh yeah, this is definitely wasted right now. Because that's flowing out. How about we'll raise you up a bit more. And now it's flowing through. Okay. So that means all this is full, which is fantastic. Uh, if we have a quick look in here. Yeah, there's still quite a lot that we could... We could lower very easily. I'll speed up the time so maybe we can get through the night bit slightly quicker. Are they able to reach this though? No, they're not. Okay. So how about... How far can they go if we check this again real quick? Oh yeah. Not too far. But I guess we could give them more access by putting an extra road down. Uh, they're going up from here. Oh yeah, this isn't gonna help. They've got this route in here. But if it went straight, it might be better. Oh yeah, we'll also have to connect this uh, bridge up there. Okay, so it seems the drought is gonna arrive very soon. Ooh, the water situation is very bad. So, with this many beavers, I think... Do you know what? Yeah, let's just put down we can always change this up in the future and if we place you like so yeah it's gonna go straight there oh that also means we should dynamite these bits in here before uh, before we build them in there yeah so maybe maybe we don't drop all this water down there just yet uh, what we can do is maybe let some water through here Maybe even some more, because these bumps are operating as well, so we can always get some get some more water through there. Yeah, let's do let's do that actually. Let's let as much water as we can through there. Fantastic. Now probably wanna give the highest priority for those dynamites. Platforms should be uh, secondary. Oh we also have to put platforms here for the road access, don't we? Yes we do. And all these ones in front. So that means we can put quite a few of them down. I do hope they can reach them all. Yes, they can. So that's, uh, that's fantastic. All these are done now as well. Beautiful. Let's just slow down the diamond. Let's go from the middle. Okay, wonderful. So now this is all nice and level. Probably get rid of those roads as well. I don't think we need them for anything. But uh, let's see. Are you guys doing the dynamites? I sure hope they are. 
Great. And we can do... Oh, can't really see anything, can we? We'll do another dynamite there. You're done. Detonate. Detonate. Beautiful. Okay, and now we can start getting those platforms in with the army of this many beavers. Do we have any more? Yes, we can have a few more construction workers. So hopefully this gets built rather quickly. Yeah. Now to think about it, maybe we do... Let's see, it's gonna come somewhere there. And then we'll take these dynamites out. Yep. And the last one. Um, I don't want to take this staircase out just yet. I'd much prefer to connect these bits up. And let's see. So these are at the same level. So we can already put the water pumps down in these locations. And I guess that's going to stay empty. Well, that that's okay. And then we're going to have roads that go through. Yep, that's correct. Like so. Alright, so that should... What is happening here? Oh. Well. That wasn't really part of the plan, but it's okay. Uh, is it not flowing through? It is flowing through. Ah, uh, okay. Just a minor setback, but that is that is all good. And I think let's have a quick look. How many more metal pieces do we need? About a hundred. Yeah, so that uh, section here is going to take quite a bit so what I'm gonna do is I think for this um, playthrough there's two more main things or maybe even three that I definitely want to do uh, we didn't do it in the um, folktale series but in this one I would like to max out as many if not all of those well-being uh, stats over here then the second one I think there was a fantastic idea to build like a beaver Venice on top of this lake over here so that's gonna be a fun little most likely a time-lapse construction project and with the uh, tiny little castle up up the hill as well that's still in the in the in the in the plans so um so yeah that's pretty much going to be the i believe the end of this episode um we still got a couple more projects to go but um other than that things are things are going pretty well I think uh, an extra thing we'll probably look at in the next episode is also to increase our storage. Now, it has been mentioned, I think, a few times that we've got so many unharvested resources. And um, the reason why I have them here is actually just for the aesthetics, for decoration purposes. I did not need as many uh, wheat or potatoes growing, but I just wanted to have, uh, have these farms... Uh, all the land covered in farms, so it looks a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer, as well. But yeah, um, that's gonna be the end of this episode then. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again. <laughs>